Rocco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OU update with Ryan Aber. I'm Jenny Carlson. Ryan, apparently it's basketball season, <laughs> or we're getting close. Big 12 Basketball Media Day held just this week in Kansas City. You went. Sooners were there, obviously. Lon Kruger brought a couple of his players, including Buddy Heald. Lots of buzz about him, obviously uh, garnering some uh, all-conference honors, but then Bill Self saying he could be player of the year. But Buddy had some interesting things to say, too. Yeah, Buddy uh, admitted really for the first time yesterday, the first time that I'd heard it at least, that his foot injury, which happened at the end of his freshman year, held him back even last year. Uh, we thought he was 100% healthy. He uh, said that it made him less aggressive, less likely to, to attack the bucket, uh, less deadly on the offensive boards. Now, his shooting, that he, his greatly improved shooting made up for that, wound up having a fantastic season. But uh, Lon Kruger's talked a lot about Buddy getting back to sort of a combination of his freshman and sophomore seasons, uh, shooting the outside shot when it's available, but at the same time being more aggressive to the basket and, and creating more points that way. I guess this begs the question, what kind of player <laughs> is Buddy Heal going to be if he was – the attacker as a freshman, the shooter as a sophomore. What could we see in his junior season? Well, if he combines it all, Bill Self could be right, and, Bill, and Buddy Heald could be the Big 12 Player of the Year. He, like I said, he had a fantastic season last year, even considering that he didn't uh, have that aggressive edge to him. He's got probably a better supporting cast around him. The point guard Jordan Woodard is going to be much better this year. Uh, if Tayshawn Thomas is eligible at forward, uh, they're going to be much better inside. So they're going to win a lot of games, and that's going to get Buddy Heald uh, some national recognition. He's uh, had a fantastic summer bounce between the Kevin Durant camp, uh, LeBron James camp, also represented the Bahamas in a tournament, a FIBA tournament in Mexico, and all those things really helped him put his game together. But you can also see the, the work he's done in the weight room. He's a much better, bigger physical player uh, this season. Considering how good it looks like he has the potential to be, and all those names that you listed, plus some others that are coming back, this team picked third in the conference, which preseason picks don't have any bearing on things. And maybe Kansas on their run of conference titles deserves to be in that top spot. But Oklahoma being third instead of second in Texas's spot, is that a little surprising? Because this sounds like a team that could make a run at maybe ending Kansas's streak. Yeah, I think they've got a chance to make a run. I don't know that it's real surprising because Rick Barnes has brought in a great class as well. But I think if you add Tayshaun Thomas to the mix, through the other four starters that they had last year. You look at the depth when you can go uh, DJ Bennett, uh, Kadeem Latin, and uh, Jamani McNeese on the interior, on the, on the inside, CJ Cole also expected to, to play a role. They've got some good uh, guard depth with Denzel Walker who can slide over and play both guard spots. But I think their, their front five, their starting five, is going to be as good as anybody in the country if Tayshaun Thomas is eligible. And they've got a chance to, to end that Kansas run. And some people are picking them as a dark horse uh, Final Four team. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.